Hi, I'm Darren Mabry with Notre Dame Women's Basketball, and today I'm going to be reading Petra's Pier Picnic. What a birthday present! A new fish and a new fishing pole. You two have a beautiful day for fishing, Petra, her mom said. Are you and daddy ready to go? I already packed some surprises for lunch, Petra told her dad. Mommy, look, my old fish isn't letting the new one eat. If it keeps doing that, the little one will die. They're just getting used to each other, Petra. Shall we swim or walk to the car? Asked dad with a laugh. Swim, of course, said Petra, swinging her arms through the air as she moved toward the door. I wish I knew what to do about my fish. Row, row, row your boat in the water blue. Get a nibble, catch a fish. Look, you caught one too, they sang merrily. Daddy, here's a good spot to set up, Petra said. Daddy, I've got one, Petra squealed as she felt a hard tug on her pole. But when she reeled it in, she found an empty hook. I brought some bait, Daddy, Petra called out with a smile as she slipped her hand into the lunch bag, dangling a shiny worm over her mouth. Petra added, and they taste good too. Don't worry, they're just jelly worms for our dessert. Catch anything? Petra asked the people on the pier, offering each of them a jelly worm. Have you been throwing your fish back too? Petra asked a couple on the pier. No, this is the only one we caught, answered the man. You're gonna need more than that if you want enough for supper, Petra replied. The woman looked at Petra. We were hoping to catch enough fish to feed us for a week. Wow, you must really like fish, said Petra. Well, they're better than being hungry, responded the woman. Petra and her dad sat down to the perfect meal for a fishing trip, tuna sandwiches and goldfish crackers, and more jelly worms. But Petra kept thinking about the man and woman who didn't have enough to eat. They had smiled at her, but something told Petra they were sad. What are you thinking about, Petra? Dad asked. You look so serious. You know, Daddy, I'm glad I'm a people instead of a fish. There was enough food for both fish in the bowl this morning, but my old fish wouldn't share it with my new fish. Fish sure are strange. It's not just fish, Petra. People do the same thing. There's plenty of food in the world, enough to feed everyone, but many people still go hungry. And our family might go hungry tonight if we don't get some bait on our hooks, Petra giggled. Just then, Petra got a bite. Help me get it in, Daddy. Petra pulled her line out of the water and her dad scooped a big fish into the net. Look what I caught, everybody, Petra shouted to the people on the pier. Most of them gave her a thumbs up. When Petra looked at the hungry couple, they were too busy fishing to notice. Looks like we have enough fish for today, Petra. Ready to go? Asked her dad. Daddy, I'm thinking about something. Do we really need all these fish? They're your birthday fish, Petra. It's up to you. Petra walked over to the hungry couple. Here, she offered. We caught more fish than we need. This big one is for you. They started to say something but Petra was already running to catch up with her father. Petra, her dad said, I'm happy you cared about those hungry people on the pier. So am I, daddy, so am I. That night, Petra's fishbowl was carefully placed in the center of the dinner table. Look, exclaimed Petra, the old fish is letting the new fish eat and they are both swimming around each other. I'm glad mom made a lot of macaroni, teased Petra's sister, Marina. It looks like you two didn't catch many fish. What happened, Petra? Joked her brother, George. Did the big one get away? I met some people who needed the fish more than we did, Petra told them. We'll have plenty to eat without them. Way to go, cheered George and Marina. You helped us all learn something today, Petra. 
remarked Mom. Yes, you did, added Dad, and we're so proud of you. Petra started to blow out the candles on her birthday cake. Don't worry, everybody. There's plenty for all of us, she assured them. Petra had learned her lesson well. Let's leave this bowl on the table for a few days, said Petra. This is one fish story we all need to remember. The end.